You're watching Oz Music live right around the country. And look who's whipped into the studios. Chrissy, how are you? Very well. That's good. Before we talk to you, let's whip around state by state, starting with Lee Simon in Melbourne. Lee, you there? Yeah, I certainly am, Molly. Thanks a lot. And I'm here with uh, Greedy Smith from The Mentals. And single-handedly, the two of us are, in fact, making sure everything runs perfectly here at the My Music Bowl. Are you happy with the way things are going? Yeah, it's pretty wild out there. I think the sparklers are going crazy. People are using sparklers. I think people are enjoying the value for money. It's like a picnic. Fantastic, and we are having a good time, of course, still to come from Melbourne, Hunters and Collectors, and let's check out what's happening in Adelaide now with Jeff Alice. Woo! We're having a chunky time here in Adelaide. The Angels have just come on stage. They'll be in simulcast for you real soon. Also, we'll be catching up with Shirley and asking you about that giant condom. With the crowds buzzing, it's really happening here in Adelaide. We've got the biggest crowd in Australia, and we're proud of it. This is Oz Music 90 as we cross to David Ray. What's happening in Perth? Hi, uh, it's just a nationwide plethora of rock stars. Out on stage at the moment is Noiseworks and they're mixing up a very sweaty celebration. But the gentleman of sweat himself, Jimmy Barnes, is due to come up next. It's just fantastic here. Everyone's having a great time. It's a full house out at Perth Entertainment Centre. Now we've got a cross to Brisbane, David Reimer, and that man of heavy metal himself, Agro. Thanks, David. We're still cooking here in Brisbane. Oh, Oz Music John, 90 Daniel. here before a capacity crowd of 12,000 people. It is oh, unbelievable. Joe, this character product. has created <laughs> more trouble than he's worth, and that's a fair bit. Hey, bro. <laughs> Save some red cordial for me, Jono. <laughs> it's big. John Farnham is still to come here. Let's go to Michael Horrocks in Sydney. Thanks very much, David. Uh, I've got a few ro rock and roll fans here. Uh, there's a few rock and roll fans back there. What do you think of the gig so far? Oh, it's right? great, mate. I'm having a ball. Having a ball, and there's still plenty to come. How are you going? Oh, uh, just fabulous. <laughs> You've been in the hospitality tent most of the time. Uh, this is Sydney Ice House. We're up next. Back to you, Molly. You <laughs> OK, thank you very much, Michael. Chrissy, welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you. you. Enjoying it? Yeah, very much. Actually, it's a pity that the Divinals couldn't have played on this, but you're off to America tomorrow. Mm. New single out. Mm. You want to talk about it? It's called I Touch Myself. Right. Mm. <laughs> right. And can we expect any shock performances like we've seen tonight from you when you come back? Um, well, just the usual thing you get from the vinyls. You know, it's always pretty, you know. Shocking. Yeah. No, not shocking, but shock. Well, you know. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now listen, I'll tell you what, uh, there's been a lot of performers that couldn't play tonight because they're either overseas or busy recording, but one that would have loved to have been here tonight is Kylie Minogue. And I'll tell you what, she's right here now. Come in, Kylie. Hi Australia, I'm working in London promoting my new album at the moment, but I just want to say how excited I am that the Australian music industry now has a day to celebrate our homegrown talent. This concert simulcast is the ultimate salute to all the musicians, technicians, producers, writers and crews that have taken our industry to the exceptional level of respect we now have both home and abroad. I wish I could be home tonight, but good luck and congratulations. Stay where you are because there's plenty more coming up after this break. We'll be back with more live rock and roll in just a few moments as Coca-Cola presents Oz Music 90 in association with the National Drug Offensive.